Oh man, Questlove, he's an important uh, aspect of hip hop. The next best thing is probably Jesus. Why the roots are so important? They just, it's just, they're just about true hip hop, genuine hip hop. Man, because they'll be rocking until they're 75. You know what I mean? And you know, hip hop and the street footwear culture go together. We giving out for sneakers. We going to the uh, the Ubik over there. They got the Quest Love and Force Ones. They coming out the Questos. My name is Ron Crawford. I'm the manager for Ubik Philadelphia. What's going on right now? As you see, we got uh, about 25 to 30 people in line for the Quest Love Air Force One. Quest Love being a world-renowned drummer from the Roots, which is a Philadelphia local-based band. He had this vision to come up with this shoe that was going to be crazy, and he came up with a few ideas in a colorway that's really strong and like really attracting. This is his hometown. Of course he's going to release them in his hometown, yeah. Rich, I'm from the Bronx, New York. My name's Eddie, I'm from Pocono Mountains in Pennsylvania. I've been here from Sunday. There's red pair and then there's a gold pair. But if it has a gold toe box? And there's supposedly only 25 gold pair in the whole world. And you receive tickets to a special Roots event. We don't know exactly how many they're going to have here, but hopefully, you know, he has a lot because, you know, this is the city of brotherly love. Yeah. My name is Everett. I'm from Williamstown, New Jersey. My name is Courtney. I'm from Jersey. I've been here since Saturday night. It's going on two days. The sneakers are hot. They're the latest thing. Quest actually came out last night. It's like, he blessed us. And again, he came around 3 o'clock last night and bought whoever was in line food. You know, that's really, really a good look because these guys have been out here, some of them since Friday afternoon. He brought us food, you know, he, he showed us love. Like, we actually been out here, like, for two days. I got, like, one hour of sleep. He's coming to the store on Tuesday, and he's going to be DJing while we uh, buy the sneakers. And Amir has been a strong enough personality to break the mold of the Philadelphia stigma of being so evil. We got everything we need right here. I mean, we got a cooler, we got food, we got a place to sleep. It's not that bad. It's really not. Yeah, yeah. You know, when you got somebody who's like, you know, the musical director for Jay-Z, you know, and he's coming and he's giving you sandwiches at 3 o'clock in the morning, you know, that's almost worth the experience of waiting in line itself.